want to talk a little bit today about a song I like to have people, pe people do as a finger picking song. Um, the electric guitar that's playing this on the album is not exactly playing all of these notes, but that's, this is the effect you, can, you get um, with it. So it's really just a normal, what we might call a Travis picking pattern, the same type of thing you'd hear in uh, Dust in the Wind, Landslide, uh, some Beatles tunes, Dear Prudence, stuff like that. Um, which is done with an alternating bass, and so see my lesson on Dust in the Wind that talks a little bit more about this, because but it's basically the same um, finger picking style. The important thing is uh, what fingers your what strings your fingers are lined up on on what chord. So on a D chord, which doesn't happen in Dust in the Wind, at least in the part that I've talked about so far, um, you're only going to use two fingers and your thumb. So your index finger is going to play the second string, and your middle finger is going to play the first string. And then your thumb is going to be alternating back and forth between the fourth and third strings. So on D chords, your thumb is doing this, and your first finger is ready to play the second string, and your second finger is playing the first. The pattern, which I have addressed all over in the articles at our site, so come visit totallyguitars.com for much more information on this and songs like it. Um, the pattern is very simply this. thumb is alternating constantly on the beat, completely independent of what's going on with your fingers. And the first thumb is done with a pinch. Your thumb and middle finger play together. The second beat, your thumb hits the third string followed on the and of that by your index finger. So the first half is this. The third beat is your thumb back on the lower bass note, the fourth string, followed by your middle finger. And then the last beat is just your thumb on the third string, very slowly. A little faster. Faster again. And it's almost as fast as you need to do it for the song. The main difference in the, um, when the chord changes. Now when it goes to G7, your fingers are going to change, you're going to use three fingers now. Your thumb's going to be going back and forth between the 6th and 4th strings. 6 and 4. Got it? And then these fingers go to their home positions. This one to the th your index to the 3rd string, your middle to the 2nd string, and your ring finger to the 1st string. Now the pattern starts the pinch with your thumb and your 3rd finger. That would be this. Oh, on a G7 chord, by the way. In case I forgot, I didn't mention that yet. So the chords you need to work on this with are G, D, and G7. So on the G7, you do the pinch with the, your thumb and your ring finger. Your thumb comes to the fourth string to hit the next bass note, followed by your index finger. The third beat, back to the low thumb, the thumb on the sixth string, followed by your middle finger. And on the fourth beat, the last thumb. So the pattern very slowly on G7 is this. So start working on that. Here's what it sounds like again, really slowly. Two measures of D, two measures of G7. I have much more extensive uh, information on this song and a lot of other Pink Floyd songs, all kinds of cool classic rock songs and finger picking songs and uh, power chord songs at Totally Guitars. So come visit us at Totally Guitars and uh, join our little world over there with, uh, you know, we can need input from the community. So let us know what you'd like to see there and if you're enjoying these videos. Thanks.